Well, I've got the keys to this beast and uh, to start off with the keys, uh, I'm not going to be driving it unfortunately, but uh, we have it for a nice walk around video. This is the Force Urbania. This is their global traveler. It's built to global specifications. It's absolutely massive in every single dimension. I'm six foot two. You can see where the roof line is going on this and it is just such a stunning looking machine. I'm Vikram Gore, you're watching Modus Rides, and this video is all about the Force Urbania. So from a design perspective, you can see that Force has gone all out to give you something that looks very modern, uh, very international and uh, this is something that would fit right in in Europe as well. So you've got these massive headlights, you've got this beautiful grill with this center line that has Urbania plastered on it, a nice low bumper obviously conforming to uh, crash test norms and uh, keeping all of that in mind and you also get it with these beautifully housed uh, fog lamps right down here. Uh, moving on to the side, you can see that uh, you know uh, it's got these nice uh, shaped body lines so up front the front fender again has a lot of character to it it's not a plain jane design the force motors uh, urbania rides on beautiful 16 inch wheels and they're fitted with plastic caps on metal they look like alloys but they're not okay so just keep that in mind but as you move along you get this massive rear view mirror it's again something that's uh, needed on a vehicle of this size and uh, done nicely well integrated with the body and overall the fit and finish that you see the lines that you see along uh, the urbania are again something that stand out and look world class so they've done a great job the paint looks great the way everything just sits flush looks great all the way the cladding has been fitted all of these elements they all come together to give it a very international unique look and uh, talking about that i think what force motors has really gone out and done is they've really spent a lot of time to make sure that the shut lines are perfect they've got this nice sculpted design i love the lower end of this vehicle it's got these nice creases that run down and give it a lot of character so around the rear neatly integrated tail lamps a massive door that you can access and uh, you actually get a little space under the seat which I will be telling you about when we go to the interiors and again you get to see just how massive a vehicle this is so all in all you've got a vehicle that looks great it's got this beautiful stance it has this commanding look on the road and it does look absolutely premium well, before I get into the Urbania and tell you all about the interiors and finally end it in the driver's seat, uh, I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about a few really world-class elements that Force has tossed in over here. One being these really nice integrated indicators on the ORBMs and the second being this novel way of getting to the fuel tank and keeping things safe as well. So you have to open the passenger side door and then flip this down and that's where you can get access to the fuel. Now, when you shut the door, there's no way to access this panel. That is some smart engineering, some easy engineering, and it just keeps things safe. As cool as the Urbania is on the outside, it's that cool to get in. So you get this beautiful, sliding door that's so easy to use just locks in place dumps single-handedly and you get a beautiful step to enter and get into a massive cabin voila it's massive in here Force is going to be launching the Urbania in three wheelbase versions and that sort of extends the cabin or reduces the cabin length. What we have here is the mid-size version and this gets 14 seats. So there is a smaller version that is a 10-seater and uh, then you've got the larger version which I think is a 17-seater. But uh, this one is pretty massive on its own and uh, it also gets uh, a total of six doors. So you've got the driver's door, the front passenger door, the sliding door, the rear door and emergency doors 
uh, in the event of an accident, which uh, we hope you never get into. But uh, speaking about the cabin, as you can see, I can stand almost upright in here. I'm six foot two, telling you that again. So that gives you a lot of space and it is done very well. The lining is top notch automobile, uh, you know, class finish that we see in sedans normally. Uh, this version gets a six speaker audio system. So you can see some of the speakers up here and it's got seats uh, which come with seat belts on pretty much all the seats, which again is a fantastic touch when we're talking about safety and moving on uh, into the future. But the seats themselves are extremely comfortable. You can sit down, you can put your armrest in and you can also recline them and really chill. So once you are seated comfortably in the Urbania, what do you get on board as a passenger? Well, for starters, you get your own AC vent, which again, you can adjust for the way you want it to blow on you. You've got your own reading light, which is again, a fine touch and uh, done to keep that class image going. You also get an SOS button, should you need to inform the driver of any emergency on board. And uh, again, it's a little flip and you can press that button, which we will not be doing. But uh, Force has also given each seat a USB port. Now this is again, keeping in mind that people travel with a lot of devices. You want to keep your devices charged. So every seat gets its own USB port. And that's again, a very cool touch to have on board. The fit and finish is again top notch. I think I really like the materials. Uh, the windows look great. They're sealed windows. The, you can't open them, but this is a nice AC cabin. It's almost airline like to be in here and uh, you do get a massive window so you can get a brilliant view outside while you're seated on the Urbania. So well, being seated in the driver's seat of the Urbania is rather special because it looks like you're in a car. I mean, this could be the front dash of any large SUV in the market. And the fit and finish, the quality, again, is something that is stand out with the Urbania. Force has really pulled all strings to ensure that they give you something that looks world-class and top-notch. And you get a lot of space over here as well. But for starters, you've got a beautiful steering wheel that feels great. It's almost sedan-like and uh, a nice large display for you with your speedometer and your odometer and a little bit of a digital uh, driver screen over there that uh, lights up and gives you your information like your gear selector, fuel position and information that you need. Uh, moving on, you get a nice high-end audio system on board. As I mentioned earlier, this version gets a six speaker audio system on board and you've got a touchscreen interface with Android Auto and CarPlay built in. So there you go. You're talking about a nice large transporter that's giving you creature comforts that you would find in a sedan. Uh, again, the fit and finish over here, you've got access to a plethora of buttons and your AC controls, which are your dial type, but they feel great. They feel nice and firm. Uh, the driver gets a charging port over here as well as a 12 volt socket and you also get four AC vents right up front. The passenger also gets a USB charging port as well as a little uh, cubby hole to keep their phone in. And overall, just being seated up here, it is just such a commanding view, such an awesome view that you get uh, outside uh, the windscreen. And uh, I am rather tempted to drive it, but sadly we're inside the dealership and uh, maybe the drive for the Urbania will have to wait. But that is something I do look forward to doing at some point in the future. Uh, right now, like I said, this is a walk around video and we're just going to be telling you little bits about what Force has done uh, with the Urbania. Of course, one of the standout features that you need to note uh, on the safety front is that this is probably the only commercial vehicle in its segment that comes with two airbags as standard. That's right, it has two airbags. So you get the front passenger and the driver get airbags as well. You've got a massive glove box, which again, you can store uh, a host of things in there, including a first aid box. Nice grab rails to get in and out of the Urbania. And right up here, the driver also has a control for the rear AC. And uh, that's for him to decide what fan speed to set it at. And it can get loud. But uh, 
is right up here for you. Overall, I think the fit and finish is uh, impeccable. The seats feel nice and firm. Now, uh, the driver, the front passenger, obviously they get uh, seats on sliders and the driver can adjust the seat for height as well. In fact, the steering can also be adjusted for uh, uh, rake as well as pull. So you just flip this down like you would in any car. You can move the steering in and out and you can move it up and down uh, to set the position that you would like it to be. And uh, last thing is the gear knob. Now it is a five speed manual uh, transmission, but it is mounted very neatly into the center console. It's not on the floor. It's not a floor mounted uh, unit. It is actually here, uh, very upmarket, very easy to reach. The ergonomics are perfect. You're sort of driving in this position and you're shifting gears over here. It's just almost sedan like. So that's again, a standout feature with the Urbania. So underneath the hood of the Urbania, what you get is the tried and tested OM616 derived FM 2.6 CR diesel engine. It's a four cylinder engine. The 2.6 stands for the fact that it displaces 2600 CC and it delivers about 115 PS of power in the Urbania. Incidentally, this is the same engine that powers the Gurkha and in the Gurkha, you can have it uh, tuned up to uh, 90 PS and there is an export version that gets it for 140 PS as well. But uh, for the Urbania, 115 PS is what it is because the speed has also been limited to 80 km per hour with a limiter being a commercial vehicle that's going to be largely used by fleet owners and corporates to shuttle their staff to and fro in absolute style. So uh, the Urbania also comes with the uh, power windows up front. Uh, as you can see, the driver has controls right over here. You've got the uh, door lock unlock as well. And uh, another safety feature that is built into the Ford Urbania is this little switch over here. This is the battery cutoff. So when you actually park it, you want to turn this off. When you want to fire it up, you actually have to flip this, turn this on first, then come to the key, put the key to the on position wait for all the lights to go off, press the clutch and then fire it up. Well, that's what we have on the Force Urbania uh, right now. It's our detailed walk around video. I hope you really enjoyed it, uh, liked it. And this is definitely an exciting vehicle to be hitting our market. Uh, again, as I mentioned, it's available in three uh, different lengths. There's a small, the medium and the long and uh, the price range also goes up in that exact order. So it starts at 29 lakhs X showroom. The medium one is about uh, 33 and the top in one is about 35. So uh, an interesting vehicle, uh, sadly can only be had uh, with commercial plates, but a little birdie did tell us that the medium one and the small one, if you do request the RTO, they just might give it to you with those white number plates and this could be your private touring vehicle so again i hope you enjoyed this video i'm vikram gore you've been watching motor scribes and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave your comments behind on uh, what you thought about this video what you think about this vehicle is there something else you would like to know about it that we might have left out i don't know it's a big vehicle we could have overlooked something but uh, we'll definitely get back to you in the comments because uh, we've had a good time to spend with it and uh, check it out. So looking forward to hearing from all of you. And this is me signing out.